overall, we've had a very good growing year here. Uh, we've had cooler than normal temperatures and adequate rainfall here in Richland. We had some flooding issues in East Carroll. A lot of people did. Um, but overall, I, you know, I, I think it's pretty good conditions for, for most people. The rains haven't been huge everywhere, but the frequency of rains have been really high. You know, it's been a lot of, a lot of rain. But we're not complaining about that from an irrigation standpoint. We've irrigated twice this year, and we're normally six, seven times. So this has really helped us out a lot. You know, the July contract was at a large premium to the September, and we uh, did some contracts based on the July. So we're, we're kind of in a pinch on delivering that. And so we're cutting some very high moisture corn, you know, 28, 29% corn and drying it down so we can get it delivered. And I think the crop's gonna be good. I don't know that we'll necessarily set records, but I think it's gonna be a very solid crop. I'm happy with what I saw yesterday. And if we can hold that all the way through, we'll be, we'll be very happy. You know, 60 days from now, we get into latter part of September, you know, we can get all the soybeans harvested by then. Of course, I know the cotton guys are gonna wanna have October dry too, and, and I want that for them, it'd be nice. But, you know, if we could have, you know, occasional rains from here on would be nice. I just ask people to have a little bit of patience. You know, going 25 miles an hour for two minutes is not gonna change your day, it's not gonna change your life. But, you know, we try to be courteous and we try to give as much room as we can there's just certain times that there's only so much room to give. And uh, so just have some patience with us. You know, we'll get out of the way as quick as we can and uh, just, you know, be aware that all that's going on. These things are going slow and when you're going 65, we're going 25, gaps happen fast. As you do see this slow equipment moving around, you know, understand that, I mean, we are out here making a living. There's no doubt about that, but we are providing for these communities, uh, the food. I mean, nobody physically eats this corn. Nobody physically eats these soybeans. But all of this is used to, to feed chickens, to feed cows. You know, there's all sorts of things that you go to the grocery store every day and buy that directly are fed and produced from the things we produce. Keep that in mind as you encounter us, that, that you know, it all comes back to the, you know, the end user.